Hey, welcome to AntLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Wingspan. Wingspan. We're making aviaries. Awesome. Managing um, aviaries? Okay. Yes. Are we making we're bird enthusiasts. Yes, kind of both. Yes. <laughs> so um, Wingspan is a one to five player game. We'll be set collecting, mm. rolling some really chunky cool dice. Yeah. Um, designed by Elizabeth. Hargrave, published by Stonemeyer Games, plays in about 40 to 70 minutes. With the two of us, probably be closer to 40. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. All right, so join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Welcome to our aviary. To our up and coming aviaries. Right now yes. it's quite empty. I think they're side by side. They are. Like, I don't know if we're comp competing. Competing for the same population of birds? <laughs> of birds, I don't Indeed know. Indeed we are. <laughs> All right, um, so I guess we can just get into explaining how the game works. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about setup. Um, there really is no difference when it comes to player count here. Right, unless yeah. it's single player where you need to get the automa in there, but yeah. we're not worrying about that. So um, go ahead and take them through the setup. All right, um, so this is pretty simple, actually, as you can see. We have the main crux of what's going to be happening is not on a joint board. It's on these massive, beautiful like, check folios. folios. <laughs> yes, indeed. Player boards. So this will tell us what our actions are, and this is also where we're going to be managing our aviary, but really it's going to be our tableau. Mm -hmm. So for setup, we have our super neat little dice tower birdhouse which has our chunky dice in it this will be the food that we can acquire throughout the game um we've split up our resources but these are just a general supply of eggs that look like easter candy and uh some food tokens which we'll be collecting to allure birds i guess to or to, to, sustain to sustain our bird sustain population them, yes. yeah we have a common deck of birds which we're going to be going through Three are up on offer right now. We can draft those as an action. Right here in the middle is is where we have our round goal. So this game's gonna be played over four rounds. Mm -hmm. um, in the first round, we're gonna have eight turns, and then that'll decrease by one turn every round, and you'll see why. Um, for the first round, uh, I guess we can go over what our goals are for the game. So these uh, these little uh, tokens change every single game. So mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch to come. Uh, in the game. And for round one, we are going to be scoring uh, birds in the wetlands. Yes. So whoever has the most down here, down here in the wetlands. Um, round two, we'll be looking for birds in the forest up here. Uh, this is the grasslands area, I guess, but we're not scoring anything for that. Uh, round three, we'll be looking for eggs in ground nests. Uh, and then uh, the birds that have the little tree nests yes. that have eggs in them. So uh, I guess we can, maybe we can go over the uh, the bird cards really quickly. Um, I don't know if they can see them on well, film we'll, we'll or not, put a few but we'll put, a, we'll put a few up for you. Um, each of these bird cards, and we actually, we started with a hand of five of these, and we also started with five food tokens, so one of each type of food. And what we did was we drafted two and kept one bonus card which mm -hmm. really kind of guides what birds we want to keep in the beginning and it'll guide most of our play um and those are secret so I'm not gonna yeah, these are these is. are end game <laughs> goals essentially yep so the we were able to keep as many birds as we want but the the trade-off is that we had to get rid of one food any type of food for each of the cards that we kept mm -hmm. so i chose to keep three so as, as did i oh, you did okay yep. Um, and on these cards, on the upper left-hand side, you have uh, one or more little diamonds, and that will tell you where this bird can live, and that's where you'll be playing your bird into that section. Below that, you have what kind of food that bird can eat, so when we do play our birds, we'll have to feed them in order to keep them there. Um, anything with feathers in this game is a victory point, so we'll have those throughout the game. Below that, we have the nest type, and there's four different types of nests, mm -hmm. including a wild type of nest. And then below that, it'll tell us how many eggs that bird's nest can actually hold. And then on the bottom, we have some bonus actions, which we'll get into in a little bit. So that's pretty much it for setup. I think so. I think um, as far as the actions go, you have just four main actions. It's very simple to understand. 
uh, a little more complex to play. Mm -hmm. So your four actions, number one, you have play a bird, which like I said, you'll be able to play one of your birds from your hand onto your tableau by paying the type of food in the quantity that the bird needs. Right. So sometimes they have like the hashes, they can take a whole bunch of different kinds of food. Other times they're really picky and they want a certain combination yep. on their platter. So you'll play the bird wherever you want to. Uh, one thing to note is you have these eggs above these columns over here. You'll always play your birds from left to right. So once you start placing birds in these further and further columns, they actually need to hatch out of eggs. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of like your first few birds just kind of land in your, <laughs> in your, on your land, I suppose. And then uh, from there, they have to start um, hatching out of eggs. And that's actually one of your actions that you can take. Um, so after playing a bird, you can, um, you can gain food from the bird feeder, which is here. We'll go over that when we get when we into it. Yeah, to playing. Yeah, yeah laying eggs on birds we'll explain how that works as we play and then drawing bird cards that's pretty much it yeah and um, yeah i'd say and once once you play a card you will take your bonus and then you and the bonuses get stronger the, the mm -hmm. more you have in that particular uh, row and then you'll activate all the the powers on the birds yeah right and so there's really just a, a one activated power yeah a power that can be used between turns when it's not your turn or one played power and that's really it yeah very simple to understand, so I think we should just get into playing. Yeah, I think I so. I stock this aviary. Yeah, my aviary is a little empty right now. So, all right, with that, I think we can start turn one. You're player one. You can yep. start playing birds. All right. Okay. Okie doke. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. All right, so I'm going to get started, and I am going to take one of my action cubes, and I'm going to play a bird. Boop. And I'm going to play the yellow-bellied sapsucker oh. into my forest. Okay. Um, so he needs, like, berries and a worm. So that is the food that I kept. He is good to go. And that is it. It's your turn. All right. Uh, I guess then I should probably play a bird too. Hmm. Okay. I will play this green heron. It's mm. going to cost me one worm. He goes in the wetlands. Okay. And that would be this cube here. Oh, oh, play a bird, sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right. I am going to gain food because I'm out of food now. Um, so the way this works is when you play any of these, you're going to put your action cube in the leftmost unoccupied space, which for me is going to be right here. Um, or I guess you could put it there. It fits perfectly, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, so I can take one food from the bird feeder offer, mm -hmm. and then I have the option to discard one bird card to get another food. I'm not going to do that piece right now. I'm just going to take a food. And I think I will take a... Mm, maybe I'll take this wheat. Now, from right to left, I'm going to activate any birds that have that brown banner, which I do have one. So here we go. When activated, gain one worm from the supply. Boom. And that is it. It's your turn. All right. So... I am out of food as well, so I can't spawn any more birds, which is terrible. <laughs> but I think what I might end up just doing is drawing some bird cards. Mm. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to draw a card. I could discard an egg to draw an additional one, but I now I have an option. I can draw from up here, or I could draw blind, blind from the deck. And I think I will probably draw a blind from the deck. So I'll just take one of these. Ooh, interesting. And then I get to do this one activated. I could trade one food for any other food from the supply. And I'm not going to do that. These, these actions are optional. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's it for me. Mm. Oh, I just thought of something. Okay. Okay. Um... Hmm. All right. I will also draw birds and I will take, I can only take one 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll take the common Nighthawk. Okay. And then this gets refreshed and it is your turn. All right, so then I'm going to, mm. I'm gonna gain food. So okay. I can take one food, I'll take a worm, please. Okay. And when we take these uh, these food tokens, you just kind of take these dice and put them outside of the bird feeder. Yep. So you know that they're taken. And that's, I don't have any birds here, so. Okay. That's all I get. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. All right, I guess I'm going to I'd like to play this guy. I have like no food though. <laughs> Stinks. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna lay some eggs. So the way this works is um, again, you put your action cube on the leftmost spot and then you get that many eggs. Um, the eggs are different colors, but they don't really mean anything different. And when you get your eggs, like in this case I get two, you can place them on any bird that has available nest space for an egg. Right now I only have one bird, so I'll put these both right there. All right. And that's it. Your turn. My turn. I'm going to head and play a bird. So I'm going to play this pygmy nut hatch hmm. into the woodlands or the forest. So he's going to cost me one worm and one wheat to play. Okay. And that is it. And again, I'm out of food. Oh no. Uh, this stinks. All right, I'm going to gain food again. Um, so I will take the rat. And then I also get to activate my worm guy and get a worm. Okay. I'm also going to take food, so I will take, I guess I don't have a choice, cherry but to take, <laughs> take a berry, okay. um, activate this guy. When activated, took a bird from your hand behind this bird, so I'm building his flock, and I just have to choose one of these, and I'm going to choose this guy, and tuck it behind this bird, so that's going to be worth a point mm -hmm. at the end of the game, and if I do, I gain a worm or a wheat. I'll yes. take a wheat, please. Oh, oh, you have I'll just take thing. it from here. Okay. So it kind of builds a flock and gets some more food. I know, that's so good. Um, okay. Okay. I will. I'm going to play a bird. And I'm going to play the common nighthawk. So he's going to go down there in my wetlands. Okay. And he has two worms. Cost. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. I think what I'll do is I'll draw a bird card. Right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to go here. Yep. I get to take a card. I'll take this one. Mm, that's so good. Yep. And I could trade an egg for another card, but I don't have any eggs right now. I will activate this guy, trade one food for any other food from the supply. So I'm going to trade in this cherry and take a fish. Okay. And then that's it. Hmm. Mm, yeah, it's not going to work. I'm going to... I'll play another bird. And I'm going to play... I'm going to play this guy, this Eastern Screech Owl. Now, again, how this works, I'm playing him here. So he's going to cover up this leftmost spot, but I need to pay an egg. I guess he's hatching out of that nest. How he's hatching out of a yellow-bellied sapsucker nest, I have no <laughs> idea, but I don't ask questions. I just observe. So right. there you go. And he cost a rat. A rat. Okay. So I could probably go for some food. 
So let's do that. Let's go for some food. But since there's only one die left in the bird feeder, mm -hmm. I have the option to roll all the and dice again. Like and I would like to, okay. please. All right. So I will take a fish. Okay. So I'll take a fish. I'll activate this guy. I can put a bird behind him to gain another food. I don't really want to, though. I like the I birds I have. So I'm going to just forego that ability. Okay. And it's your turn. Okay. And I guess I will play another bird. Playing yeah. so many birds. And I'm going to play the yellow rumped warbler. Do I want to do that? <laughs> it, yeah, I guess. I guess I will. He's only worth like a point. You mm. know what I mean? I'm just going to copy, but that's okay. All right. All right, and That's that it. was your final turn? Yes. All right, so then my, for my last turn, I'll just lay some eggs. Okay. All right, so I get two eggs, mm -hmm. um, and I can allocate them any way I like, and I will give the pygmy nut hatch one, and the green heron. I guess we'll give him a green egg. Okay. There you Stay go. thematic with the eggs here. <laughs> and that's it. So that ends the round, right? Yes. All um, right. So cleaning up the round. Okay. All right, so let's start by scoring round one. Okay. Okay, um, so birds in the first, wetlands. Birds in the wetlands. We both have one bird. So we're tied. So we are tied. So we both get first place. That's how that works. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking because in the competitive mode, when you tie for a mm -hmm. place, yeah, I think that might be right. It is. The thing is, if we had another player, yeah. we would actually skip the S second place. Yep. And that person would get third place. Yep. So, yeah. And we take all of our cubes off. Yep. So you can see, because we use an action cube, we actually have less actions this round. Right. So that is it. We're going to refresh these guys. These all go away. Bye-bye, birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. <laughs> oh, the snowy egret. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Right. There we go. Uh, I get player one. You do. And we are ready to start round two. Yep. You are up. I'm up. Okay, so, man. I guess I could play this dude. Yeah, I'll play him. So he's going to cost me. So I'm going to go ahead and do play a bird. And That's a good one. The black swimmer. So he's going to take two fish. Okay. Which I have. And he's going to cost me an egg because of this row. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll take this egg. And that's it. Okay. And I have no birds and no food. <laughs> so I guess I will get some bird cards. Oh, here we go. Mm. Um, I will take oh, the snowy egret. Hmm, the house run, that's pretty cool too. Yeah, there's some cool birds. Um, I don't have any of those nests. I think I'll just draw blind. See okay. what I get. Oh, okay. And I am... I don't know if I want to spend that egg. I guess I will and get another card. So I'll spend this egg and get another card. Nice. Okay. And then, so this is kind of neat. The Nighthawk is one of these that, um, if this bird is to the right of all other birds in its habitat, move it to another habitat. Mm. So it's the leftmost, but it's the only one there. So it can actually move to a whole other habitat. And he will move up here. Okay. All right. I'm going to need to get some more food, but I think first I'm going to draw some birds. So I get to draw two bird cards this time, and I'm going to take them both blind. Okay. All right. That's cool. Uh, when activated, roll all dice not in the bird feeder. 
That's one. Yep. And if it's a fish, I get a fish. And it's a worm. I don't get a worm. <laughs> um, and I could trade a food for another food. I'll keep the wheat. Okay. So that is it. Boom. Done. All right. I have lots of things to do here. Let's see. I guess I'll gain food because I do need to do that. Uh, do I want to do that? There's a whole lot of cherries out mm, there. There are a lot of cherries out there. I guess I'll do that. I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of <laughs> want to draw more bird cards. I know. You know what I mean? Well, I know what you mean. I think I'm going to draw more bird cards. I have time. So I'll just... This time I can only draw one, though. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, ew. That's pretty cool. All right. Good. You're up. Yep. Um. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to get some food. Gain food. So I will take. I guess I'll take the cherry. Okay. Why not? Um, when activated, tuck a card from behind your hand, and if you do, I will gain some things. So put another bird behind my pygmy, pygmy mm -hmm. nut hatch. Okay. If I do, I gain a worm or a wheat. I will take a worm. A wheat. A wheat. I'll take the worm. All right. All right. I'm going to play a bird, and I'm going to play the California condor. Mm. And he actually has a big crossed out sign which means he doesn't need any food he just eats all the other he just i don't know what he does carrion yeah um but when played draw two new bonus cards and keep one okay that's cool My turn. I'm going to go ahead and draw more bird cards. Again. So I'm going to take two cards. Okay. Um, I'll take one. Nobody wants a snowy egret. And two. Because I already have a bird like that. My heron does the same thing. Um, yeah. One Which, of those landed in my neighbor's backyard when I was a kid. Yeah. And ate their goldfish. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we were like observing it. Like. <laughs> What a beautiful, majestic creature. And then it was like... <laughs> In their pond? <laughs> it ate their koi. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's like, a big um, meal. Um, um. <laughs> All right. So my black skimmer is going to get the one activated. So I just need a fish here. And, and you I got, got one. one. So I get to gain a fish. Okay. And cash it on this card. So cashing food yes, on a card... that will give you one point. Will give me points at the end of the game. Yep. Uh, I can trade in a food for something else. And I will not do that. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Okay. Okay. I will gain food. I'll take these two cherries. Okay. Put this in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're... Oh, no, you're not. You've got a lot of activities. Tuck to a card. Oh, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Um, actually, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Okay. okay. If I had more, more cards, maybe. Roll all dice, not in the bird feeder. If it's a, if it's a rat, cash it on this card. Oh, so rats are hard to get, though. Yep, nope. No rats. Nope. And then I get a worm. And you are up. Okay. Time to play a bird. So I'll play this tufted. Yeah, this tufted bird up. Yeah, I'm gonna play him up here to the woodlands. And when played, play a second bird in your woodlands. Mm -hmm. Pays normal cost. Oh, I can't do that. Why? You don't have eggs. Oh, yes, I don't have you enough do. eggs. Yeah, you do. I only have one, but oh, he costs but me have, one. So you don't he's have eggs. Probably to play not the, other one. the one I yeah. want to play. 
I'll probably then play this guy here. He's just going to cost me a worm, so why don't I pay the cherry for him? I'll pay a worm for this guy instead. He's not going to cost uh, me any Oh, wait eggs. a minute. I think I screwed up. Why? You didn't pay an egg for I that guy. I didn't pay an egg for that guy. Oh, Crap. my. Okay. Well, I'm about to get eggs, so I'll just pay one back. Okay. I mean, it was just drawing bonus cards. True. It's not like you've drawn bonus cards. No, I didn't. You know what I mean? So, I'll Sorry. play the barn <laughs> swallow. Uh, and that's it. Okay. That's so, it? Yeah, now you can All right, go. so I'll lay eggs. And only take two. And only take two. To make up for that, oops, make up for that guy. I'll put one there, one there, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then he is not to the right of all other birds, so he's actually going to stay there. So he doesn't get to do yeah. anything. All right, so now I should probably lay eggs. So I'm going to get two more eggs, and I can spread them around. And when activated, take a card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, draw a card, and I'll do that. So. It's your turn. Okay. And I will... Hmm. I need to do so many things. I keep missing my opportunity to do that. Again, yeah. Which stinks. Um, okay, I'm gonna lay eggs again. Okay. All right. Yep. And my final action, I'm going to play a bird. So now I'm gonna go back and play this guy. And he's going to cost me a cherry mm -hmm. and an egg. Mm -hmm. And when played, play a second bird in your woodlands and pay the cost. Aren't so I'll you fancy. pay the chirping sparrow. And I will oh. pay another egg and a wheat because I could play wheat or a worm. Very good. So that's my huh. turn. Oh, when he's activated, he lays an egg on, on any, any bird. bird. That's yeah. Cool. All right. For my last action, I will also play a bird. Mm. And I will play. The ruby crowned kinglet, oh. which also allows me to play a second bird okay. into my forest. So he's going to cost me two eggs and a cherry, and I will play the red eyed Vero, which also lets me play another bird, but I can't. So he's just going to take, um, we'll take from here and here. All right, so that is the end of the round that again. That's it, yep. So you're going to get yes. first place, and I'll Dun -dun -dun. get second. Okay. All right, because yep. you have the most yep. uh, in the woodlands. I only yep. have three. So that's that. These all come off the board. Snowy ear goes away. Oh, those get reset. We have one card. This is troubling. I know. I keep ending the round with, like, no birds and no food. I know. It's ridiculous. All right. All right, you are okay. now player one again. Yep. And take all your action cubes off. Five turns. Six turns this round. Six turns okay. this round. All right, round three. All right. I need birds. I can only get one bird. <laughs> just stinks. Uh, I don't know if I want that crow. I guess I'll take that stupid crow because I know what it is. Your turn. All right. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't have been good. I'm going to go ahead and get food, I think. Okay. So right now I'm going to grab two. So, um, Do you want that rat? I'll take the rat. Okay. And then roll the rest. Please. Ooh, wow, two rats. Rats. Uh, I'll take another rat. Okay. So I've got two rats, and now we're going to go back. So lay an egg on any bird. All right, that's cool. I'll that just is cool. I'll put an egg here. It really doesn't yeah. matter. Um, boom, tuck a card from your hand. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hold on to this guy. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. 
I am going to play a bird mm -hmm. and I'll play my crow for I guess maybe a worm because you can take anything, one of anything. Right. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to draw some more birds. So I'm going to grab two bird cards. So I'll take this spotted owl mm -hmm. and I'll take one of these guys, maybe. No, I'm going to take one of these guys. Hmm, I'll take him. Baird's Sparrow. Okay. Right, so I get to roll the food die that aren't in the tray. Oh, look at that. Whoa. A looping crane and <gasps> a mountain bluebird. Fish. Fish. He catches more fish. <laughs> and then the green heron trade one food for any other food but i will keep i will keep what i have like my rats okay your turn i'm gonna draw bird cards i want this crane. you want the whooping crane i want that whooping crane and mm. are you trading an egg for another card I was thinking about it. Mm, no, maybe not. All right. Uh, did you want to trigger your ability? Does he get that? He does. It's discard an egg from one of the other birds to gain a food. Oh. And I don't really want to do that. You don't want to do that? Nope. Okay. So I guess I could play this guy it's gonna cost me two eggs though but i might as well do it the spotted owl mm. right so playing a bird it's gonna cost me two eggs okay and two rats which is why oh, i wanted the rats yeah, when play draw two new bonus cards and keep one nice so i will do that and then you can go okay i will gain food so i'm all the way over here so i get three foods and i will take Maybe a rat. Ooh. And That's, these are tough. <laughs> um, and like hmm. a worm, maybe. And then work my way back. So I've got tuck a card, which I'm not gonna do. Roll the dice, not in the bird feeder. Get some rats, hopefully. Oh, you want rats? I want rats. Rats. Oh, you got a rat. All right. So he caught one? I caught one, yeah. Well, you only get one anyway, right? Yes. Um, and then I get a worm. Okay. For that guy. And it is your turn. All right. I think it's time to get food. Okay. Uh, I'll take the wheat. Okay. And then you can roll the rest. So I get two more. I get three food this time. Look at all those rats. What? Wow, rats everywhere. <laughs> Uh, that's I'll days. take the worm because that's either worm or wheat, okay. right? Yep. Uh, and I'll take I'll take the rat, I guess, because there's so many rats. So I get okay. three food. You get three. You want yeah. three rats? No, 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 no. I already took three. The rat was my last one, so just pull one oh. rat out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm gonna go. I get to lay an egg on any bird. Mm -hmm. So I'll just lay an egg here. And then tuck a card, and if I do, I get a worm. Or, wow, this guy's ridiculous. All right, I will go ahead and tuck this guy and gain wheat. Does so I get wheat or a worm? Okay. Wheat. Okay. I'm going to play a bird, uh -huh. and I'm going to play my whooping crane. But, yeah, for an egg. And three of anything so he'll take one two three and when play draw two two new bonus cards and keep one mm. one well oh, two yeah <laughs> draw these okay so then what i'll do is i'll play a bird i'm gonna put out baird sparrow and he's gonna go Bird's here sparrow. in the grasslands it'll cost me a worm and a wheat to play and one egg which I have and that's it okay I think I'll take this one maybe 
Yeah, I'll take. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I want. We just don't have that much more time. I know. <laughs> We're so definitely I'm short like, on which time. Which one is going to be best? I think I'll take this one. Okay. okay. There we go. Um, that's it. My turn? Yep. I will lay eggs. More eggs. Yeah, I need to lay some eggs, too. It's not to the right, so nothing else happens. All right. I'm also going to lay three eggs. So I'll just go, let's see, it's funny, the owl can only hold one egg. One, two, and three. And it really doesn't matter where you put them, mm -hmm. because you've got, some can hold quite a few. Yeah. Uh, so I laid my three eggs. When I, I want to activate lay an egg on any bird. Where did you put that other egg? One, two, three. Oh. Why? Um, no, I was just going to, you might want to look at the coals for this Oh, round. yeah, that's actually a good <laughs> suggestion so i'll put it there instead yeah. and i'll put um, this egg here yeah, um say. and instead of putting this one here i'll put that here as well yeah so those good. are my eggs and the wilds count towards yep. the because there are stars and that means they're wild no that yes. was a good call thank you uh, i don't have any cards to tuck so i can't do that either and i'll actually put mine over here on my star all right egg. okay so that ends the round yes it does uh, so the goal was eggs in ground nests. Yes. So I have four eggs. In and ground. I also have four. All right. So we're both tied for that. Okay. Okay. Yep. These come off. We get a whole new supply of birds. And we're going to have right. five actions for our final oh, turn, no. which is not a lot. It's not enough. It really isn't. <laughs> All right. So we've got three new birds. I'm going to take player one. Um, mm, okay. That's not bad. Well, that's not great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yes. All right, well, I've got no cards, so <laughs> I'm going to get cards. That's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to get to draw two. So I'm actually going to take two from the board. And then when activated, I can roll all dice. Not in the dice tray. Can I pick it a fish? And I don't. Just rats. Oh, you took that... Seven egret? Of course I did. <gasps> uh, I can trade food for something else, and I will probably do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trade this wheat for a fish. There we go. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that was my first action. Okay. Um, hmm. Very interesting. I will draw bird cards and I'll take this sand hill crane. I will take this sand hill crane. And I get one more because I'm here, right? Yes. And I'll draw blind. All right. Do I want to draw blind? Because those of you watching were wondering, you do not refill that until yeah, the end of right. your turn. I know, I'm like, do I draw? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. I'll do it. Nice. Interesting. So okay. now that she's done drawing, I can put a new... Oh, that's the best <laughs> card right there. I'm just kidding. That is not the barn <laughs> owl. <laughs> the barn owl. All right. Some of these are pretty good. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's your turn. Oh, it you is. Yeah, do? I thought you were still. No, no, no. Thinking. Huh. I just took cards. Was um. It? Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, I want to get food. I kind of need food, but I don't really like the food that's out there. <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but I'll do it. I'll get food just so I have, because you can always trade in two for one. So I'll take two rats and a cherry, because that's what's there. 
Unless, could I take a rat and a cherry, and then when there's only one die left, have you re-roll the rest? Uh, I don't see why not. All right, let's do that. Okay. I'll take the rat and the cherry, since there would have only let's been one rat sense. left. You re-roll the rest. Why don't you just be rats and cherries? Yes. <laughs> um, worms. Not really what I wanted. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I guess I'll just take a wheat. A wheat? So we'll pull one of those wheats out of there, please. Okay. All right, so that was that. Now I get to lay an egg on any bird, so I will put an egg here. And then I could tuck a card from my hand behind this bird and get a worm or a wheat. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want to tuck one of these cards. Or do I? Or do you? Um, no, I don't. All right. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to play the burrowing owl. Hmm. Um, and he costs one egg. I'll take this egg. One. Um, and he needs a worm and a rat. That's exactly what I have. Well, that's it. My burrowing owl. Okay. I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to put down the double crested Comrant. It's going to cost me one egg. So I will pay an egg, and he will cost me a fish and anything else. So I'll pay a rat because I have so many of those. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. I will. gain food. So I will get. A rat and a cherry. And a wheat. And make my way down. Now I'm gonna actually activate this guy and I'm gonna tuck this. I hate to tuck it, but um, hold on a second, I need to look at something. <laughs> Please hold. That's gonna do, let me check these. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, which is worth doing more? You know what I mean? I know. I don't know if I want to tuck him. Or if I'm going to play him. Yeah, I'm just going to tuck him. I don't want to. This is my my sandhill crane. Oh. I would have really liked to play him, but it's okay. But I tucked him, and now I get to draw a card. All right. We well, could probably draw from here too, right? I can, but I don't nothing you want. Really want any of this. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um. I'm gonna activate this guy, so I have to roll all of these and see if I get any rats. 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 And Rats! Did. Destroyed <laughs> I did. Bonus board. Sorry. Um, and then I get a worm for my other guy. Worm for your troubles? Yes. Okay, yes. so I will go and lay some eggs. So I'm going to lay three eggs. And I will put one here. And I will put one here. And I'll put one. I'll just throw another one here, it doesn't matter. And so that was laying eggs. When activated, lay an egg on any bird. I'll just put eggs everywhere. And then when activated, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. And if you do, draw a card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tuck this card behind him. And now I'm going to draw that one. Okay. You done drawing? Yeah, I only get to do it oh, once. Yeah. 
So that's it. Oh, that's a good one too. Okay. All right. My turn? Yeah. I'm going to lay some eggs. And I'm going to lay four because I'm going to pay a food mm. to do that again. Put one here. And I'll put one here. And I'll put one here. And put one here. And then... You paid food for that? Yes, I paid a worm. Oh, okay. I'll roll them over here. All right. <laughs> well, then nobody can see Off if camera. you rolled. Ah, uh, I no did rats. not get any rats. No rats. That's a lucky spot. Uh, rats. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and that doesn't do anything. So you're up. Okay. My final action, I'm going to play a bird mm. into the grasslands. A Canada goose. Oh, nice. It's going to cost me one egg. So I'll just throw one of these eggs out. And it's going to cost me two wheat. So I'm going to pay one wheat and two of anything else <clears throat> to play him. Okay. And that's it for me. That's my last action. That's it? That's it. That's my aviary. I'm going to get eggs again. Wow. And I'll get four again. That's a lot of eggs. <laughs> There's a lot of eggs. I want to make sure I'm okay on my amounts here. Okay. All right. Done. So end of round. So the player with the most cavity nest birds with an egg. With an egg. Right. So I've got one, two, three, four. I have four as well. All right. So we are tied again. Two, three, four. Yep. For first place. Okay. All right. And now we're at the end of the game. We are. So it is time to score. Time to do some end game scoring. All right. So okay. let's get our score pad out. Ta -da! Handy dandy score pad. Handy dandy score pad. And okay. we're going to do some end game scoring. All right. So, um, so first, we get points for your birds. So those are like the feathers. Birds. Points only. Okay. So count up your points. Okay. Um, I think I have 32. I have 30. Okay. Bonus cards. Oh, what do you got? my bonus cards. Okay. So my first one is called Platform Builder. Oh, okay. So birds with platform nests. Oh, okay. And I don't have many. Oh, let me uh, So I've got one, two, and the wild card uh -huh. is three. So I, don't, I didn't score any. Okay. I, I fell short one. Mm. What else do you have? Uh, my second one was ecologist. So birds oh. in your habitat with the fewest birds, so ties count. So I have three oh. birds in each habitat. So my lowest habitat is three birds. So you get six. So I get six points for that. Nice. Okay. I have three bonus cards. Um, so I had forester, so birds that can only live in forests. Mm. Um, and I have all five, so I get eight for that. Oh, wow. Birds with... Cavity nests. Cavity nests. I think I have four. One, two, wild, wild is four. Mm -hmm. So that's four points. Mm-hmm. And then birds that have at least one egg laid on them. Wow. <laughs> and I think I have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have ten. So I get six, six points, points for that. So that's... It's 18 points. 18 points. Wow. And bonus. That was big. That was major. I scooped up all those. Yeah, I just couldn't get the last cards. cavity bird. I mean, the last platform yeah. bird out. He just needed too much food. Yeah. <laughs> Um, end of round goals. Right, so we're so, going to end up splitting a bunch yeah, of these. Yeah, so you just so count them up. cut it in half and round down. So you get 2, 7, 10, 13. Okay. And I get 2, uh, two 4, 7, 10. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Because you should have been behind by 3. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then we get one point for each egg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Food on cards. Two. And I have one. All right. Tucked cards. All right, I have a few here. I feel like I rolled more than these. One, two, three. I thought I had two of those. Oh, no. So I have three, yeah, four, one. five. Five. Five tuck card. Yeah. I think I only have this one. Okay. Right, and that's, that's it. it. Okay. So let's do the math, right? <laughs> let's do some quick math. All right. What do we got? 
All right, so for me, I've got 30 plus mm -hmm. 6, 6 plus 10, 10 plus 7, 7 plus 2, 2 plus 5. So 60 points. Okay. You've got 32 plus mm -hmm. 18 plus 13 plus 11 plus 1 plus 1. So you got 76. All right. Yeah, not too far off. No. Very good. Yeah, it's the bonuses that yeah, got me. Yeah, those bonuses. All right. Let's go talk about it. Sure. All right, there you have it. Wingspan. Wingspan. We built good aviaries. I think so. I think. I was happy with it. It's mine. fun. It's really fun to like build them because it plays differently every single time. It certainly does. Um, but let's actually talk about replay replayability. Yes. Yeah, so starting right out, replayability. Yes. So there are a lot of birds in every this game. Every single one of these birds in this giant deck o birds. Yeah. Is unique. At least they seem that way because we haven't been able to find. Like they, a lot of them have like the same bonuses and stuff on right. them. Right. But as far as like what they want and where they want to live and like what kind of bird the they name are. of the bird the nesting the eggs yeah. um it, are all different for the most part they uh, from yeah. what i could tell they all look different so yeah. i think in the book it notes that there's like 170 of the 900 plus species of birds in yeah. north america i'm pretty sure uh no all or in the, the world yeah yeah because at the bottom of the bird card they actually show you like a map of yeah, of where, where the they're located, from, which is kind of cool. Yeah, a lot of good facts. So yeah. if you really enjoy birds, birds. and bird <laughs> facts, yes, like there is, it's chock full There's of it. There's so many bird facts. It's yeah, it's crazy. Um, so. But yeah, as far as replayability goes, I think that um, you kind of, I mean, it's it's another one where you have the same experience every time. I think, but it's a variable experience because yeah, yeah. your bonuses are going to be different every time. Mm -hmm. Even the the end game bonus goals. Yeah, it's a thick deck of these yeah, bonus pretty goals. solid amount of bonuses so, here. Um, and because you can end up with multiple throughout the game, mm -hmm. every single time you play it's going to be different. Right, and the round bonuses are dual-sided yes. tokens and there's a lot and of there's them. there's a whole mess There's of more them. than just the four yeah. you, you see here. So there's a lot of, of variety there. Plus, the way you score the bonuses is two-sided yes. as well, right? We played yeah, the we competitive played the side, but it does have a more, not cooperative, but less competitive where you can mm -hmm. You'll score it's what less you earn. Punishing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you miss it and you get second place, you actually are still getting full points. Even if you tie for second place, you're getting points for it. Yeah. So it's more or less just who can get the best score, not who can make, who can do better at a certain goal than right, somebody else, exactly. right? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, with that, yeah, and and the short play time. Yeah. I, I think yeah, replayability is quite high on this. I agree. Yeah. Um, let's talk about weight and audience. I'd say this is a, mm, this is for. a light mid. It is. Yeah, this is actually, it's very easy to learn, mm -hmm. um, very easy to get to the table and play. Sure. Uh, but still has, it has a, a, like a, um, a satisfying amount of uh, meat. meat to it. Yeah. Not just bird meat. No, not just bird meat. But it, de it definitely has <laughs> some, strategy, know, to some it. strategy to it. So, yeah. you know, a lot of strategy to it. And, it, and it's, it's crunchy enough. It is, to be satisfying. To keep saying. it out of the light, mm -hmm. the pure light category. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't think it's crunchy enough to put it in the full medium weight. Yeah. At least what we consider medium, right? right so right. We're, we're talking about, you know, our own right. scale yeah. uh, of complexity here. And, you know, this one's definitely somewhere between light and medium, I think. Mm -hmm. So it hits a nice spot. And then, and that being said, as far as audience goes, I think it's very, very accessible. Sure. So this is one... I know people are always looking for those games that you can bring out and play with maybe non-gamers yeah. that are easy enough to understand, but it's something you still won't mind mm -hmm. sitting through and might actually enjoy. This is one you will definitely enjoy yep. and will be very easy to teach and and enjoyable to learn and, and look at, you know, kind of like look at the pictures and yep. um, and absorb and, and have fun with. It won't be too overwhelming. Right. And it plays people. up to five, yes. which is great because you yeah. can get a, you, if you have just that extra person at your game night mm -hmm. and you, you're trying to find five player games that don't take four hours. Right. Like this is that, like this yeah. will get you with five players, maybe an hour and a half to two, mm -hmm. which is really good for yeah. five players. Um, so that's really good. And I think it also plays solo. It does. So, <laughs> I mean, if you want to go back to replayability, yeah. you've got all, you've got the automa in there that will let you play a solo game, which is right. f which gives this game a, even more legs. And it's I'll, ridiculous. Yeah, I will say too, from like an audience standpoint, as far as accessibility goes, the one thing that I really liked about this is there's, and you can see it by like, just based on the components, mm -hmm. everything you're doing in this game is on your board. Like this is your sandbox yep. of what you're doing. Um, and there's not, a, there's no like take that or anything. Um, 
with the exception of like maybe taking a card that somebody else needs or yeah that's like usually that, but, not intentional um exactly so when new gamers might be playing this or something i think that they would they will probably enjoy that aspect of it they can kind of take care of what's going on, on their board yeah. without worrying about this communal board mm -hmm that you know you might be taking action somebody else wants to take and it's kind of frustrating yeah there's no action there's, blocking in this exactly there's none of that so it's just very very accessible yeah I think. And, and you're not going to have somebody who's i mean ap you right know, you're not going to have that so much because there's only so many actions you can do and yeah. it's not you have to worry about oh if i take this action i can't take it again next round mm -hmm. or you know it's none of that so it's right. it, it takes that completely out of it you just do what you want to do uh-huh um and it really comes down to how you play your board. And it's not about, I don't care what everybody else is doing. I can just worry about my right. board. And that's, right. you know, we, we like that a lot. So Yeah. I think it's like, it's a satisfying amount of balance as far as like planning goes and stuff. Like you said, yeah. I don't think a ton of AP prone, you know, decisions yep. and stuff like that. Agreed. Um, so let's move on to theme and components because I'm obsessed with this art mm -hmm. and I love it. <laughs> it's, this is a gorgeous game to look at. Yeah. Just it's hands down stunningly beautiful awesome everything about it yeah um, i really really player really boards like cards are just out of this world with the mm -hmm. amount of detail that's on them yeah um the art's fantastic the dice tower is ridiculously cool yeah it is really uh, and, you know Bert, it just fits the theme everything here the eggs cool. look like candy they do but don't leave these out if you have kids yeah they will try to eat them they, they look wood. like Easter candy. <laughs> they are they jump. wood or they're plastic? No, they're like plastic. plastic or silicone, some yeah. kind of rubbery plastic. I don't know. They but should they, be swallowed. And rubbery. just that detail alone of having the you know putting eggs on your board. Yeah. Um, you know the food tokens. They're all unique. Like everything about this game, mm -hmm. it comes with this like tray to hold the cards. Yeah. Uh, it comes with actually like component little clear component trays too that you don't right. you don't have here on the table, but. I mean, just the attention to detail to every bit, the nice chunky wooden dice for the food, mm -hmm. like all of those details score pad. count, like everything. Yeah. And the fact that you know, there's a score pad, not every game comes with a score pad. Um, and it all tucks away nice and neatly mm -hmm. in the box when you put it away, like everything. Well, I think about the this. thing, like I, I like these cards too, because they're putting a lot of information on these cards and every piece of iconography and every piece of data on this card for the most part can be used for your bonuses like i know yeah. that like there's wingspan on here yeah. and we didn't we didn't encounter that in our game but some of the bonuses and some of the actions rely on that wingspan mm -hmm. so each bird has has a different one and they're all factual i think they they said they scaled them down sure for the game but obviously um but any of the facts and stuff like that it's just really cool like it's it i feel like i'm sort of like learning trivia like i'm learning about you learn birds about the birds yeah go, which is i mean neat. even the amount of eggs that each bird can hold right. is, is it's in neat. scale to what the yes. real bird would have yeah. if it has a big nest or a small nest um what they eat the mm -hmm. habitats they live in like all of that is very thoughtful yeah and it's applied to the cards and that just that just wins in the theme category yeah, right? yeah. it just does yeah theme was just absolutely blown away here yeah. so it's fantastic. Yeah, phenomenal um obviously we had fun with this one mm -hmm. um I don't know what your expectations were. I didn't even, you know, I, honestly, I didn't know what to think at all about this game. I had none coming into it. And uh, I can honestly say that it's, you know, it definitely really hit a, a, a wonderful place. Like, yeah. as far as what I what I like and what I what I don't want to do is, is come into a super heavy game and spend all that time sometimes. Sometimes I just want a game that's like... Like what we just did, a forty-minute playthrough right. that I can really that feels like uh, Euro-y, set collection-y. Uh, I get to take actions. You know, it's kind of like worker placement, well, obviously. And it's, you know, it's a little engine building too, because you know, if you wanted to go that route, you could really spend the time making sure that you know you built an engine in your game yeah. food that like triggered a whole bunch of cool stuff. You don't have to put birds down for points right. like we did. Like you could try to do activations to make that move more powerful. Yeah, it just um, so there's a lot of there is some deep strategy. There's definitely and and it and but it plays fast, fast and it, and, yeah. and I don't have to sit here and, and really brain burn too much. Yeah. And I, I like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, I mean the minute we took this out of the box, I was like this looks fantastic. I hope it plays fantastic yeah. <laughs> and it did. So yeah. it, it nailed it on all, all points for me. I would say I, my, my expectations were exceeded in how this plays with, um, like with a larger group too, because mm -hmm. we always look for games 
that play it too. But what I really liked about this at a larger player count was how much interaction there was between players that was positive. Yes. So for and you didn't see this too much because I don't think we had any. Cards we didn't have any that, cards that come out. That Actually, triggered... some came up here they came up, that but we, we didn't, didn't take. Them. Yeah, we didn't um, play them. But you'll find that you get these cards that, like, let's say I trigger my gain food. One of my birds might might give all players a worm or something right. or it allows all players to do something else mm -hmm. so there is if you have if you have two players it's almost kind of funny that that didn't come up because it does play so fast yeah. and you're back to your turn so quickly but if you're playing with a larger player count a lot of times it can get kind of boring because you're just sitting there waiting for your turn but this is one where you're waiting for something to happen where maybe it will affect you we also didn't get any of the pink yeah the pink ones yeah like once they're called once between turn mm -hmm. actions so when another player plays a forest bird right. gain one worm from the supply and so you would you have to like pay attention yeah so it's kind of neat that it keeps you engaged in that way and i was not expecting that so that was pretty cool yeah it's really really neat so um so i yeah i, I really really like this one um i think that's it actually that's it? okay yeah so i don't know if there's anything else you wanted to talk about no i, I think this was this is great um yeah, this was uh, sent to us. So thank you to Stonemaier Games yeah, for for providing this uh, demo copy. This this game is really yeah. I mean, you you fell in love with it as soon as you opened the box. I did. Yeah. So, uh, really really enjoyed it. So uh, I think that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.